Hey, Ken here. Um, I'm about to fly to Pampanga to meet up with Arlox Customs and brainstorm on some new projects. So, welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little different because I will be taking you along on an art vlog. I want to give you a glimpse into my life as an artist and show you how I find inspiration in the world around me. You'll get to see me creating art while also sharing snippets of my daily life, including this exciting trip to Pampanga. I can't wait to share my creative process and bring you along for the journey. So if you're ready, let's dive into a day in the life of an artist. So I've just found out that we will be on the air for a few hours, but you know what? Waiting around doesn't phase me at all, especially when I've got my trusty pens and tiny sketchbooks with me. In fact, I see this as a perfect opportunity to dive into some drawing while I wait. We're looking at a good two hours here, and I'm thinking I can use this time to create something special. After all, being an artist means finding inspiration in everyday moments. So let's make the most of it and get some art done while we wait. Stay tuned to see what I come up with. I managed to do a quick pencil sketch back at the airport lounge while waiting for boarding. I always find it helpful to take time to refine the sketch and work on the areas where I'm a bit unsure before committing to ink. It's all about getting those details right. You know, so I'm making some adjustments here and there, making sure everything looks the way I envision it before we move on to the next step. I am excited about how this piece is shaping up and I'm also curious on how this will go. Our card feeding machine is currently unavailable. Please prepare cash to complete any purchases made during your flight. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. Now it's time for the inking process. I'm starting off with my finest pen to carefully outline the most intricate details. I always begin with the eyes because they are the windows to the soul. Getting them just right sets the tone for the entire piece. Everything relies on capturing the expression and bringing the character to life. As you work on your art, it's important to pay close attention to the shape of the face and use deliberate strokes to bring out the contours and features. When it comes to inking, remember to keep your hand steady and use your arm to guide the pen. Take your time and focus on smooth controlled movements for precise results. I understand that choosing the right pens for inking can be overwhelming at times. But don't worry, you're not alone. Many artists go through the same experience. It's totally fine to take your time and explore different options until you find what works best for you. One suggestion is to try technical pens with different nib sizes for varying effects. Just remember to have fun and enjoy the process. When it comes to inking, the pencil sketch acts as a roadmap guiding me as I carefully bring the illustrations to life with ink. It's like having a blueprint that helped me stay on track and ensure that the final artwork stays true to my vision. So, whether I'm outlining the finer details or defining the overall composition, the pencil sketch serves as an invaluable guide helping me navigate the inking process with confidence and precision. Let's 
playing around with line thickness can bring your illustrations to life, adding depth and dimensions. By choosing thicker lines for bold outlines and shadowed areas, and thinner lines for delicate details and lighter areas, your artwork can truly stand out. By drawing lines with different thickness and direction, you can make your artwork look more lifelike and three-dimensional. It's really cool. These simple lines can add so much depth and details to your illustration, making them look more realistic and vibrant. It's amazing how such a small technique can make such a big difference, right? The neon green adds a dynamic energy to the artwork and elevates the entire composition. Using a single color in this way can create a striking visual impact and give the artwork a unique cohesive look. I also chose green because it is one of my current favorite colors. And I might do blue on my next sketchbook, probably. I'm still deciding on whether it's blue or orange. We'll see. As we put the final strokes on the artwork just in time for landing, we couldn't help but realize how time truly flies when you're immersed in your creative domain. That's a Jujutsu Kaisen reference. Met up with Thea from Arliss Customs and went straight to the mall to grab a cup of coffee and probably something to eat. Oh, by the way, that's Therese. Um, she is one of Kensuke Creation's project managers. Now we're here at Arlux Customs office ready to start working on some new projects. We've got a handful of ideas brewing but we can't reveal anything just yet. So how about we start redrawing the sketch we made on the plane and take it digital this time. My drawing setup consists of a Wacom Cintiq 16 HD and a 2019 MacBook Pro. For the software, I rely on Adobe Illustrator. Alright, let's begin. I whip out my sketchbook and push it to the side as we start redrawing it on the computer. Instead of just scanning it and retracing the lines, I like to keep it spontaneous and see if I can make the digital version even better than the original. This way, I can experiment with new ideas and see where they take me. When you create a drawing digitally, you have a lot of benefits that you don't get with traditional media. One of the biggest advantage is that you can undo and redo actions easily until you get the desired results. This means you can be super precise, which is tough to do with paper and pencil. Plus, you can adjust lines and shapes whenever you want, giving you a total control over your work. However, to get really good at digital drawing, you'll need to invest some serious time and practice into learning the software tools and how to use the drawing tablet. It's not easy, but with patience and dedication, you can become a pro. When it comes to digital art, 
You can't underestimate the importance of time and patience. Let me tell you about my own journey into digital art. I started back in 2009 with Adobe Illustrator when tutorial videos were so scarce. I had to rely on trial and error, and I learned through my mistakes. It took me a while to become good at it, but I find the journey to be exciting every day. Remember that it takes time to master any craft, so don't get too discouraged if you're facing challenges right now. Keep pushing forward, stay curious, and don't ever give up. This may sound a bit cliche, but if you're committed to learning, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Isn't it amazing that we live in an era where we have access to an abundance of knowledge and information thanks to the internet? I personally find it incredible and helpful that there are so many instructional videos available on various topics, from professional endeavors to hobbies. It's a fantastic resource that we should all make the most of. I truly believe that with dedication and practice, we can achieve remarkable growth in any area we choose. Speaking from personal experience, I've found out that continuously creating art has helped me to improve my skills and develop my unique style. What's even more incredible is that my creative journey has led me to connect with like-minded individuals who have played instrumental roles in my artistic development. Their guidance and support have been invaluable to me. Looking back, I'm amazed at the progress I've made and the opportunities that have come my way. It's been a humbling, surreal experience to see my original characters turn into art toys. This just goes to show that when you remain dedicated to your craft, there are really endless possibilities. I hope you're enjoying the process so far. We've made a great progress, but it's time to take a break and refuel. We're going to pause for now and join the Arlex team for dinner and maybe share a few drinks. And let's continue this one tomorrow. start the day hey good morning we're starting off early today at the nearby coffee shop where we'll be discussing strategies and goals for this year's project there are a lot to cover and tons of milestones we need to hit so grab your coffee and join us as we get ready to tackle the day ahead here's a little sneak peek at what we've been busy creating Oh, and that's my original character, Cube, which I'll be unveiling a story very soon. And these are also the art toy figures that we've been developing for the past two years. After finishing all the important tasks for our projects, I took a quick break and put some finishing touches on the piece we worked on yesterday. I managed to do a lot in just a few hours before we headed to the airport for our flight back home. This day or weekend has been very productive and uh, I'm really proud that we did a lot. Returning to the personal art we're currently working on, picking the basic colors first and then we'll go ahead and add some shading and highlights later. It's a process but we're getting there. Choosing base colors is a subjective process with no strict rules. Trust your instincts and enjoy experimenting with different color palettes to breathe life into your artwork. In the case of this piece, it was easier as I based it off on an existing character gone from Hanta Hanta, but of course, in my own style. During the pandemic, I developed my art style by creating illustrations of my interests, including anime, pop culture, fashion, streetwear, and style. Being passionate about fashion, I envisioned my favorite characters wearing these styles. Essentially, an art style emerges from a fusion of your influences, ultimately leading to a creation of a unique and personal touch. Attempt to blend all your favorite interests in a single piece of art and observe where it takes you. While it may seem chaotic initially, over time, it will evolve as you hone your illustration skills.
Unfortunately, we ran out of time to complete this piece as we need to head to the airport an hour early. However, once we get back home, we'll put some finishing touches on this artwork and I'm looking forward to seeing how it'll all come together. And I hope you guys too. But for now, I need to get some rest. Today's the day we'll be wrapping up this artwork and finalizing all the details, including adding the easter eggs and let's not forget my logo. So sit back and enjoy the ride. And finally, I give you the Street Hunters. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.